Okay, I'm just going to run you through the code here. So I have a list, a custom list called piles of money. And beside the title column, I added a amount column. So I'm able to put in a number here, which is the represent the salary of each of uh, the programmer. So we got these uh, three programmers so far. Mike, Steve, and Bert. We can see what they're making. So uh, I have on the um, on my page where I want to expose these uh, piles of money accordingly to uh, what each of the programmers are making. I want to keep a track of like how they're doing and how much they're making. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm grabbing my my web service and I'm parsing in the the XML I need to parse in to return uh, the content of the list. So this is the list name, piles of money, and which fields I need to have back. I need to have title and amount. So when I got that, I'm going down to here to the success call, which will first give me a count. So let's see, I just got a, a result up here. There we have it. To store my values that I get back, I need to have the count and then I need to have each item. So that's what I'm doing down here. When I get a success, success call back, I'm uh, grabbing uh, the count and then I'm looping each of, each of the rows and pushing that into the uh, to my array. So I got a little helper function here, so I, I'm able to to push which uh, which um, values I need to put into my array. So I need the ID, title, and amount, and so forth. So that's my helper function up here. There you have it. So when I'm done with that, I'm just calling a function called draw the pile, which I'm passing my array into. And that function is up here, and uh, I'm I'm just pulling out the example from from the Google Code project. So let's just run it and say that we get three uh, the three rows back here. So this is where where it happens. First of all, I'm, I'm specifying how many uh, rows I need, so I'm just taking the count from the array and then I'm looping through uh, each of the items in the array that I passed over here in the function so the first the first of the first thing I need to set is the title so I'm pulling that directly out of my array and then I need to set uh, the amounts here so first the amounts to make the pile and then the text under the, the programmers name here to be able to do that so when I, I run that uh, it generates the, the piles of money here, so um, I, I can see Steve is doing okay. So let's just go in and prove that this is actually uh, working. And s let's say that Chris he needs to do even better, so let's give him a $120,000 a year. That would be quite reasonable, I think. So let's just go back here and rerun. The example. There you go. So, if I want to give Mike a raise here, let's try to do that too. So, I'm going to change Mike from 65 to 82,000. Just save that. Going back to my piles of money. Run this. Run the whole thing once again. So there you have it. It works. Thank you.